Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I am your host, Kenny Easy. Why are the suits doing that? Oh, that's gonna be bad for the back, yo. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've nope. been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. Aw, oh, man, I hate tests. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here Hello. you are. Oh. Oh my. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. Oh, peeves. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep yeah, up. I struggle with that. I walked down the stairs weird. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio uh. on it. And we'll see what the guide says. Lumos. No, nope, wrong thing. Revelio. There we go. The buffalo? Oh. <laughs> Challenges? Huh? Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Kitty! I want to pet the kitty. Hi, kitty kitty. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. <laughs> but there's a kitty. Oh, a chest. Uh, pardon me for a sec, Professor. I'm gonna just look out this window here. Steal some money from school. You know, typical teenage wizard stuff. Hmm? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide Fast contains travel? a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Huh? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's gonna take me forever to get this map down. It took me forever to get the Witcher map down. And here we are. Correct. The, the Northern saber. Realms. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. So just keep on trucking. You can trucking? get to almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. I walk Always funny. something happening here. It's the heart of the Hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd Amen. like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. 
Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts? Why do you spell defense like that? Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. He can't. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Uh, you mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. I know all these Hogsmeade answers, but... Is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You Don't say pubs, I'm to too young. All of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. <laughs> you will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I bet she doesn't believe me. Speak oh, hello. The devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfect Not that ministry guy. And carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. <laughs> I'll invaluable forget. invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Can I just skip class and. Watch yourself. Oop. My bad. Uh, the wand went off. I got excited. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed I yourself apologize. in your studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Uh... I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, aye, aye. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid Ignore the sniffles. not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. 
Man, you're making me do stuff. Let's go to defense against the, the dark arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information. Either a distant relative or Ollivander himself. Now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. One sec. Alrighty. Cats try wait what? Ah Ooh, there's a chest. Where's it at? A door. What? Ooh, spider. What the? 11, 21, 17. Looks like a Paris. Another paper. Some squid thingy. Interesting. Uh. Oh, thank you. Ah, jeez. Whoa, it's foggy. There's a chest over here. Oh, is it in there? Oh man. Do I go through the door? Ah, oh, I do. Hello. Hey, want to be friends? No. Okay. Ooh, a globe. Oh, that's spooky. Oh. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes. Oh, jeez. be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. <laughs> I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. She told you. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. A what? Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. So I got some of the past. I got this. Oh no, it's coming for me! It's coming for me! Levioso! That's interesting. Now, it's let's try different. A little larger. Instead of Ungarium Leviosa, it's Levioso. Huh. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how Wait. the damage deflected your cast. Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. 
Remember, a surprise is a Now, well done. Aw, oh, the poor thing. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your mark. Oh, hey, it's that one girl. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. Good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick lad. You're good. Now perceptive. Levioso. Protego. I do enjoy a life of duels. Even all my students were stepped. <laughs> Protego. Complicates things. Stupid. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to do that. Stupid. Levioso. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Oh, oh, poor guy fell off. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I Terrible, but great. <laughs> excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Rude. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. What? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. I, I'm not gonna remember all these names. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. That's fair. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Ah. Uh. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. <laughs> oh, I don't want to say it like that. Fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned jeweling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want brown, to get but it looks most dark. out of your time at Hogwarts, like my real hair. you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm Possible sure friend. Soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? <laughs> we'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I, I did the thing. I did the... There's a chest somewhere.
I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> Professor? Uh oh, I gotta go up. Globe. Oh, just... Ah, kitty! Huh. Who's Eddie Cleaver? Uh, it's not the statue. What's up? Ah, okay, it's still up. Going up. Ah, everything's so bright. Ooh, a chest. Hmm? Not a bathroom. It's a. Oh, it is a bathroom. <laughs> Who puts their chest in a bathroom? Hello? Oh, I, I got a. Where? Come on. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. That one flushes normal. Normal. Witchcraft. Oh, that's not a door. What the? Uh. I saw nothing. I wasn't in the girls' bathroom. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. There's a chest. Have you ever flown over flat lakes in the squid? Kitty! That's three cats. Who? You can't imagine how we Where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert. Ah. Root. No, it wasn't. Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boys. What was that? I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? I'm here for class. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before He's eccentric. we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, 
You all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? I don't, cause hmm. I'm not well, here. It seems that we are in dire need of review. No. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Oh man. Mine. Akio. That is not bad. You ah. are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. I, I think she's well, going to be a friend. You to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Oh, hey, there's that one girl. What was her name? I think it was Cressida. Hi. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? What on earth? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Oh jeez. Very simply, cast Akio okay. on one of the spheres and relinquish the charm at the last possible moment. Now, ah. uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Uh, uh, I'm trying to aim. That's it! Don't lose your composure! Splendid! Not bad. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the oh. ones just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see. Ah. Come, 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 come on. What's oh, jeez. All right, all right, I gotta step up my game here. Ah. Oh. Come on, fail, 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 fail. Dang. That is how it's done. Ooh. Stop, 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 Brilliant. Ten off. Ah. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I was like, I bet that guy walking is going to get hit with something. 
think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. True. <laughs> but there's no time to have this episode. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like button if you see more of Hogwarts Legacy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to get that notification. And I will see you guys around.